Hello again everyone, this is Khalid back from KKC a new video. Today's video is gonna be very important because I think today I made the right decision to deviate this channel to the right direction and just really decided to ask you guys about what you wanna have as tutorials or just templates or whatever you want to and I think with your help I can grow this channel very much so, so we're gonna be working collaboratively on this channel and if you're ever really interested in helping me out to keep up the good work and so on then just be sure to give a small donation to me on paypal and it's gonna be like paypal.me slash and it's gonna be very generous of you so without any further ado let's go ahead and check out how we can customize this artwork template number 38 because most of you guys chose to have this steam artwork template rather than the cinema 4d tutorial so let's go ahead and check out the project file so it's gonna be fairly easy to edit you just really have to go into this uh, edit or composition just double click on it and then you're gonna be prompted with this with these options so just click on settings and then just go to window effects and controls for settings okay and you're gonna have this text A which is first text then text B which is the second text and then we're gonna have this outline for this shape over here so it's gonna be like this first text and second text and the outline itself so yeah you can really customize the colors in this scene okay and of course you have your first text so you can double click on it type in whatever you want to whatever you want cool and then just go back to the first composition which is the render composition and here things can get a little bit interesting and very easy actually so just import double click on here and then import your background and then put it here okay just put it down and it's gonna fit perfectly fine i'm sure and if you have any problems with the resolution then just be sure to go to the render composition right click and then composition settings and then from here my friends you can change the resolution it's gonna be fairly simple so let me just zoom in really quickly and you're gonna have the width and you're gonna have the height so just set the width and the height accordingly to your resolution and things should work perfectly fine and then once you have your color set and your text set you just really need to click on Control m and then just click here go to avi change it to a to quicktime and then format options h264 and if you don't really have this h264 then you should stick with with avi because i get a lot of comments on my youtube channel like from people asking me what the, what do they have to do and if i can help them out to render this and it's very simple you know just it's just that h264 isn't really going to take up a lot of space on your hard drive and it's exactly the opposite with avi so that's just something to keep in mind so just if you can't really have h264 then you can downgrade to the after effects version that i'm using which is cc 2014 or you can stick to avi so just click on ok click here choose your render destination and then click render and once your render has finished you're gonna need to go to handbrake and if you don't have handbrake then you can download it and open it up install it you know all that kind of stuff and then i'll show you the exact same settings that you should choose for this exact particular project to get a gift that's uh, yeah acceptable to upload on steam because we all know that steam is a bitch <laughs> so here we are in handbrake and we're gonna just need to load this project okay just load it and go to the dimensions and be sure that the height and the width are exactly the same as your render otherwise you're gonna have some troubles and so on and so forth and then just go to the video and i think the basic settings are usually gonna work very fine and if they don't really work fine then you may have to change the frame rate and make it maybe 25 fps and yeah just play around with the quality so i'll have to leave it at 25 fps for this render and the quality might have to be 20 okay so 20 is better quality so the less you, the less the number the more quality you're gonna preserve so it's just i'll just leave it at 20. 
okay create a, create a save and then click on start encode okay and once you go to photoshop then you're gonna need to load your video and uh, i'll do that right away and now that our video has loaded we're gonna do a very simple process just click on Control shift alt then s and then we're gonna get this tab okay and then just go to original because we want to preserve all the quality and then click on save choose a path click save okay now we're gonna need to check the gif right click properties and as you can see the gif is 3 megabytes and i think we can even get away with 30 fps and let's go ahead and check out this uh, gif and see how it's looking so that to me my friends seems very smooth and very high detailed so yeah without any further ado i think we got to the end of our video and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you didn't then you know what to do leave a nice comment see you next time peace out everyone